Welcome to a bill of wow. Hey, that was fun. Welcome to a bill a minute from GovTrack. Your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now as you can see, I'm here with thousands of my closest friends at Audi Field in Washington, D.C. for the XFL playoff game. That's the Extreme Football League. This match between the D.C. Defenders versus the Seattle Sea Dragons. Now, a few years ago in 2018, the Supreme Court allowed states to legalize sports betting. Now, and just in the five years since then, more than half of all states have indeed legalized it in some form. Now, even if you've never placed a legal sports bet yourself, you've probably seen some of the ads for it. For example, uh, Bet MGM ads feature Jamie Foxx and uh, who else? Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx at least, Wayne Gretzky too. Uh, Caesar Sportsbook ads features Peyton Manning and Halle Berry. Uh, so now there's a new bill in Congress called the there's a new bill in Congress called the Betting on Our Future Act, which would ban most advertising for sports betting. It was introduced in Congress by New York Democratic Representative Paul Tonga. Tonko, sorry. So what supporters say is that it should be the advertising for be banned for, should be banned for the same reason as television and radio ads for cigarettes have been banned for 53 years now. You know, it runs the risk of hooking kids and teens on a dangerous vice. But opponents counter that, you know, like alcohol prohibition in the 20s, you know, bans often prove ineffective, and if anything, if anything, they drive an activity more underground. Uh, opponents also note that legal sports betting operations hope they're not booing me here. <laughs> Is my video really that bad? Anyway, uh, opponents counter that uh, legal sports betting operations have age minimums anyway to keep kids and teens out. So anyway, let's root on the DC Defenders here. It's, we're down three to zero right now versus the Seattle Sea Dragons, but I have a feeling things are about to turn around. Let's, let's take a look at this game. They just hit the field goal, tied it up three to three.